Welcome, let's learn Disney Hocus Pocus Tricks and Wits Card Game, a 2-4 to four player game published by Funko Games. It's All Hallows Eve and the witches have risen again. The kids need to stop them by finding the witch's ghastly spellbook before the black flame candle burns out. Split into teams, try to outsmart your opponents, and grab the right cards in time to win. The goal of the game is to be on the team of the player that has the book card. However, if one player has both special cards, their team wins, even if the other team has the book. To set up, first split into two teams, the kids and the witches. Give a reference card to each player. Each team takes their cards and shuffles them, and deal three to each player on their team. Place the rest as a face-down deck in reach of all teammates. Give the kids the four tokens and place the die nearby. Then all players look at the Hocus Pocus cards, then shuffle them together. Then deal one face down to each player. If there is a player that doesn't have a teammate, deal them two cards. Arrange the remaining cards in a three by three grid. Then build a black flame candle, putting the cards in numerical order. The game is played over six rounds. In each round, first, each player plays one action card face down. Second, everyone reveals their cards, then take turns doing what their cards say from lowest to highest number. Third, once everyone has taken their turn, take the top black flame candle card and place it on top of the card below it. In subsequent turns, take the full stack and move the full stack to the card below that. Then each player on both teams puts all the cards they had this round into a team discard pile. Then all players are dealt three more cards each. Whenever a team has no more cards to draw, take the discard pile, shuffle it, and use that for the new team deck. And when the round ends but the candle has nowhere else to go, the game is over. The Hocus Pocus cards in front of you are your stash. You can look at your own stash, and you can talk to your teammate about your stash, whether you're telling the truth or not. When you take a card by the 3x3 grid, add it to your stash face down on either side. You cannot reorganize your stash, unless a die effect says you may. And you may only have three cards in your stash, so if you were to take a fourth card by the 3x3 grid, you must first decide to discard one. In a three-player game, the person who is playing alone can still have three cards, but the team with two players on it may only have up to two cards in their stash. Also, if you are by yourself, you may do one shadow action as listed each round. You may do the action immediately before or after you play your action card. Now let's go through some keywords. Mark means to place a token on any card. The next time a witch takes an action, they must choose the marked card, if possible. Once that action is completed, the mark gets removed. Peek means to look at a Hocus Pocus card, whether in a stash or the center. Push means to slide any card from any player's stash to the center, then shuffle the cards in that row. Reveal means to flip any card face up so all players can see it, then place it face down. Shuffle means to shuffle the cards in your stash and then place them back down. Swap means to exchange two cards no matter where they are including from your own stash if you desired. And take means specifically take a card from the center. If a trick card from your stash is pushed or swapped by an opponent, immediately reveal that trick. That player finishes pushing or swapping as normal, but then before another action is taken, you roll the die. If during gameplay, you end up with a matching pair, first complete your turn as normal, then reveal those cards 
to roll the die twice. After you resolve the second die roll, remove the matching pair from the game. And as for the die rolls, this is which ability, which means swap one, then shuffle your cards. If the kids roll the witch ability, they may peek at one instead. Kid ability means peek at any two cards and mark any one. If the witches roll the kid ability, they may only peek at one card. If someone has the book, they must reveal it, then shuffle their stash. Reveal one. If it's a trick, remove it from the game. Push one. This symbol means to either take an action card from the discard pile, then do what it says, or re-roll the die. If at the end of the game, no player is holding the book or both special cards, then nobody wins. Otherwise, the player who has the book wins, unless one player has both special cards, then that team wins. Thank you for joining me to learn Disney Hocus Pocus Tricks and Wits card game. Have fun.